Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Spark Freedom. In today's episode, I'm going to be going to Carlsbad Caverns. I am currently in the middle of nowhere, uh, just outside of Carlsbad, New Mexico, on some BLM land, which is free use land. Uh, my car is not made to come out here, and I'm about two miles off the main road-ish, uh, staying out here gonna be completely off the grid just for the night at least just for the night out here um, but before I go to Carlsbad because our Carlsbad caverns that's gonna be tomorrow I am actually outside a um, much smaller system of caves in the middle of nowhere that you can just enter whenever I'm not personally going to go deep into them because I do not have the gear for it you do need some gear um, but I am going to look at the entrance so Let's look around at the view real quick and go check out those caves a little bit. So here's my spot for the night, out in the middle of nowhere, New Mexico. I'm actually just a couple miles away from Texas, I think, if I continue down that road. And way off in the distance, kind of right where I'm putting my finger, you probably can't see it, but I can see the uh, entrance to Carlsbad Caverns National Park. So I'm really right down the road from it. And the roads have all been a lot worse than this. This is tame compared to my drive here. I must have bought them down like 30 times. But And all of the other vehicles I see back here are either like trucks or like slightly lifted class Bs. So I was like, I am not in the right territory. But let's go check out those caves real quick. They're like right here, like 20 feet from my car. They're called Parks Ranch Caves. See, it's got this whole thing about safety equipment and what you should have and stuff. So, I really don't feel like getting lost in some caves, but I do want to at least see the entrance of them. See, there's another warning for flooding. It gets cold so quickly in here. It's kind of freaky. Some sort of nest right there. Okay, nothing in it. Okay, I think that's as far as I'm going. I'm a good couple hundred feet from the entrance. And I'd rather not go much farther than that right now anyway. Hopefully I'll come back and make a full video of it eventually. But not today. This is so cool though. Such a cool location. If you ever buy um, Carlsbad Caverns and you have the appropriate gear to go into a place like this, definitely check it out. Just want to get a couple more shots of this sunset before it gets too dark out here, but it is absolutely stunning over that mountain over there. It's so much cooler now than it was earlier. It got up to, my car said it was 91 degrees outside. Uh, and it's so, it's pretty quiet out here. The um, road is 
the road is a little bit down back that way so you can hear a truck every once in a while but other than that it's just me and one other guy over there he's tent camping he's taking pictures right now as well so I will see y'all tomorrow as I make my way to um to Carlsbad Caverns. Good morning. It is currently about 9, 9.30 in the morning. Uh, it's already pretty hot out here. It's probably right around 75, so it's pretty warm. Uh, I'm super excited though because only in a couple hours at 11.30 I get to enter Carlsbad Caverns, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I think I'm just going to get ready and then start heading that way. I mean, it's literally right down the road, but it will take me a couple minutes to get there because um, because of how bad the roads were coming to this spot. I'm going to take a time-lapse video just to show you all what it was like to get this car back on these dirt roads. But I think, yeah, I'm just going to get ready and then get over there. So I'll see you all over there. Okay, so I've just arrived at the visitor center and I'm all ready to go. Just before I go in there though, I have to show you this amazing view right outside the parking lot. Like, look at this. When the Lord was designing this place, he was like, yeah, let's make this as picturesque as physically possible. Because it's all flat all around and I'm just on top of a mountain. This is beautiful out here. Okay, let's go inside that visitor center and get ready for my self-guided tour of the caverns. Like a whole dedicated thing to motorcycle parking. Makes me wish I could have brought my bike, but that's like 1,500 miles away. This is a one. I'm so excited to be back here again. It's been so many years since I've been here and I barely remember anything about it. I think the main thing that I really only remember is the main entrance, which I can tell is right over there on the other side of this hill. But other than that, I'm sure I'll remember more as I go deeper into it. Uh, I'm just super excited to get in here. So let's get over there. Y'all are about to head down 750 feet beneath where we're standing right now, see some pretty incredible things. Now I just ask for your safety, as well as the safety of the cave while y'all are down there. Please stay on that trail and please do not touch any of the cavern walls or formations. Even the oil from your fingers are going to permanently damage them. While down there and talking, please do keep your voice down to a whisper. Anyone who's speaking nearly as loud as I am right now is going to be heard over a quarter mile away down there. So secrets are not going to stay secret for much longer. You're welcome to take photos, you can use flash and flashlights. Just make sure that no one's getting blinded by them. And please don't leave anything behind down there. No trash, no coins in our ponds. They're not going to grant you any wishes. There is no food or drink allowed inside the cave with the exception of plain water. Anything else though, including chewing gum, tobacco, sunflower seeds, anything like that, does need to go in the trash here first to avoid crumbs, spills, things getting left behind down there. They'll get sticky, nasty, or moldy. And over time, it can damage and destroy the cave. Right here behind you all are the last bathrooms you're going to see before you get to the big room, about 45 minutes to an hour away. If you have to go, that is your final opportunity before you go underground. Again, it'll be an hour before you get your next shot, so do keep that in mind. Does anyone have any questions? Nope. All right, fantastic. When you're ready, here it is right that way through the amphitheater. Go for your head on down and enjoy.
world. There are so many birds flying in and out of here. You can see them just right down in there, and you can probably hear them too. got cold in here. I'm glad there's lights because I should have brought a flashlight down in here. Get all those birds, there's hundreds of them right there. I'm gonna have to see if I can brighten this later because it is so dark in here. It is cold in here, and where the uh, entrance was, it was also very stinky. There was all those birds, and I'm sure a bunch of animals go right there. There's still light coming in. I'm still kind of close to the entrance, so I'm gonna see if I can't run back outside and grab my very powerful flashlight from my car because they do allow flashlights in here, so. All right, flashlight acquired, so now I should be able to see things. Some of these formations down here are crazy, especially with the fact that they're still standing even with all the rubble of all these cave-ins that have happened here. <laughs> so much cooler down here too. It's probably like 60, 65 right now. Don't look that way, that was bright. This thing goes from floor to ceiling. Look at that. And then ends in a pool of water. It's so crazy. I think I'll keep the flashlight off for this part just because there's a ton of people and it's a massive open space. I don't want to accidentally blind anybody or mess up the experience or somebody. But this chamber is massive and luckily somewhat lit so that's good some of these rock formations in here are crazy looking like this one up here like you can't see my finger right there looks almost like water don't think I had a flashlight last time I was here, so I'm getting to see a lot more than last time. I actually don't really remember all that much even still. So 
wonder how far down that goes in there. There's so much rocks piled up on the ground. I wonder if this kind of damage is human caused or just like erosion, pieces falling off. There's another little cave in there. It's crazy because you really don't know what's around all these corners in these caves. Like around that corner, it could be nothing. It could just stop be the end of the cave or it could just open up and continue on for miles. Look at that. That must be 20, 30 feet tall. I'm definitely going to have to come back and visit that Parker's Ranch cave that I camped next to because that was like four miles of caves and that looks super cool. This is where I started from right here. Down and around. And this is where the elevators will bring you. There's still a lot more to go through. They got a snack bar and gift shop and all sorts of stuff down here. Oh, I'm definitely gonna. Have, I'm, yep, I'm definitely gonna pick up a sticker down here. These formations are really cool. I guess they're called sponge work and they are formed by sulfuric acid. So the um, gift shop turned out to be closed sadly, but the bathrooms were super cool because uh, you like go down a side channel cave kind of thing and they're just built into the cave. So, let's move on towards the big room. This stalagmite right here is absolutely massive. A couple of these are like, look at that thing. There's another floor to ceiling, one back there. Oops, sorry. You keep running. <laughs> yeah, hello again. It's funny because I ran all the way back out to grab my flashlight. So. Oh my god, yeah, that's I did. how slow we are. <laughs> <laughs> This is otherworldly. It almost looks like a different planet in here. Like, am I still on Earth? Here's a giant stalagmite that reaches two thirds of the way to the ceiling. So many insane looking cave formations down here. I just imagine what it would be like if all of a sudden there was a power outage or something. That would be terrifying.
I guess it's 90 more feet down. That's insane. There's a bunch of paths down there too. I wonder if you can take a tour or if they just have lights and stuff working down there. Crazy massive area. So glad I went back for the flashlight. You can't see anything without it. Oh, oh, it's dripping from the ceiling. difficult to show the scale of this place because I'm sure whatever I show here on camera will look nothing like how it feels in here you could fit like a whole office building in here or like a four or five stories it looks like up And it's actually quite temperate in here. It's not, I don't feel cold at all. I feel cool, but not like freezing at all. So I'm going back into one of the main rooms as I get closer to the elevator. And the stalactites in here just continue to have me in awe. Cause you see over there and these ones over here are huge. It just looks crazy in here. Wow. It's just long caves of different formations in almost every direction. imagine how easy it would be to get lost down in something like this. I already have no idea where the entrance is and I'm on a trail. Okay, this pool looks like something straight out of Mars, or like another planet. this oh there's another cave down there I don't think it goes very far I don't know it's interesting you can see how the water kind of flowed down into it back when there was water there all right I think it's time to head on back towards the elevators I've already been down here in a couple hours. Oh yeah, I was down here about two-ish hours, so I think I saw most of the things. Now it's time for elevator ride back to the top. Goodbye, dear. Um, 
secured a sticker and a postcard. I have made it back up to the surface. Those caves were awesome. I'm really glad I came down here and did that. But for now, I got the sticker. Let's put it on the panel with the rest of my stickers. Add it to the collection. Okay, so there's my three stickers that I have on there so far. Where should I put this one? This one's really cool looking. I love the art on this. And I've got a picture that looks a lot like it because that's that looks like the front of the cave, or the entrance. I think that I'm going to put it up near the top. Right. Carefully. Take this off of here. Okay. Okay, and that is another sticker added to my board. So, I'm gonna go into town. I got some stuff to do, like laundry, boring stuff. Um, and then I saw another spot, another boondocking spot on the way here when I was passing by it the first time to go to the second spot because I had to go past, so I had to go past the national park itself to go to the um, Parks Ranch Caves. So, but on the way past, I saw like a mountain with people parked on top of that mountain. So that looked like a really cool spot to go to. So I will catch up with y'all when I get there. And here is home for the night. I'm actually right on the other side now of Carlsbad Caverns. Uh, I think where I was camping was somewhere out there. And then it's right on the other side. This hill is the cavern. I've got this really nice top of the hill campsite right here. There's a couple other people. There's one there. There's a guy down there. And then there's one or two people behind me. And the highway is only a couple hundred feet down this road. This road was a little bit interesting to climb up in this car, but it's fine. It did all right. I wanted to go higher up behind me because there's more up there and you can get on top of the mountain, but the road just got worse and worse. So I decided to turn around and come back to this spot. But with that, I'm going to end the episode. Thank you all for watching this one. Please like and subscribe. And then in the next episode, I think I'm planning on going to White Sands for the time being. So that's going to be really cool. It's a really fun place to check out. So I will see y'all in the next episode.